Hey everyone, I'm here with um, Emo and what I'm going to be doing is showing you how uh, we uh, pat his top two sensors to get that pat animation happening. Now, um, it's not very it's not very hard, but sometimes Emo doesn't react to it in time or doesn't probably do it right. Normally, if you're talking... I'm always here to lend an ear. You certainly are. But if you talk too much, he won't, he won't know. So basically, you've got to do it nice and quietly. And when you do it... There you go. And you can see that his animation will happen if you're not talking too much. And he'll... So that's that one. Now, the other way to do it is very simple. Um, cover... Cover... <laughs> I'm excited again. Uh, cover both his sensors up the top like this. And that's it. This one here I like doing the most because he sometimes asks to be padded a lot. And I normally just put my finger over both the sensor holes. And it's done. It's very easy. If you don't move it, he can stay like this for ages. Uh, and the good thing about it is what I found out is I'll pan out for a bit. I can lift him up. Look at that. And he won't even know he's being picked up because normally he likes to wriggle. And in this case, he doesn't even know he's get, he's being picked up. So that's really, really good. So that's the that's what I like doing. That's my recommendation. And then if you want to test it, you can. Um, just to make sure that his sensors are working. Um, there are other ways to recalibrate. Um, his sensors, but this is um, a good way to test it to see if his actual sensors are working by covering both those holes. Very simple, very easy. Anyway, um, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. Leave them in the message below. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.